It's spring in New York. The windows are open. The trees are blossoming. Your hormones are raging. And you have a crush on a writer. At least it's not another bartender. You remember the moment the thrill of the chase with this guy became the crash of the crush. It felt like the Kool-Aid man burst out of your cold, dead heart with a, oh yeah! He was in your bed. The, the crush, not the Kool-Aid man. Three ways stress you out. Anyway, he was in your bed and he was talking about something meaningful to him and you were very interested because he's a very interesting person. But then you noticed something. He had a very subtle Davanian fame. A secret little fame. You almost interrupted him to point it out, but you controlled yourself. You liked how it appeared when he smiled a certain way and you took note of that and now all you want to do is make him smile a certain way. Is that seriously all it took? Are you that much of an ape? Are you really folding over a secret fame? Girl, why are you like this? You can't afford feelings in this love economy. Get it together. But you didn't get it together, did you? Nope, sure did it. You became obsessed with the idea of feeling that secret fane on your neck in the morning. You never got to feel that secret fane on your neck in the morning. The crush left because, you know, you made shit weird in other ways like you always do, and now you feel like you have limerence stuck in the back of your throat. Why do the tiniest little details about someone send you into a romantic obsession? With one lover, it was a crooked tooth that they always tried to hide, and as a result, they had this adorable, bashful smile that melted your heart. You wanted to write poetry about their smile. Even now, it makes you so happy to think of that smile. With another lover, it was a dimple that became so pronounced when they would smirk while making a wise-ass observation full of dark humor. Oh my god, it was so hot. You swear you would just start undoing your bra every time you saw that dimple smirk come out? Girl. With another lover, it's just the smell of their skin. It's this familiar but strange mixture of those icy, fruity-flavored elf bars and fabric softener. Even now, whenever you pass a laundromat or smell someone smoking the same type of vape flavor, you get so wistful and stop dead in your tracks with an uncontrollable longing to text him. Do not text him. Also, you sound crazy. You feel crazy. Do you blame spring? Do you blame your hormones? Do you blame your love maps that always lead you to the most spectacular dead-end streets where all the houses are burning down? You can't have a crush on an emotionally unavailable vampire writer man. You hate who you become when you start to like someone as more than just a fun night in your room. You can't handle the insanity of good dick, the longing of intimacy, the desperation for connection, the rejection of silence, and the hope for someone to ever feel the same way in return. What are you gonna do? Write more songs? Is there a band called Secret Fane? Should you start one? Mm -hmm.